got him. Let me see. Bring him over. Bring him over. Oh. Yeah! He got the mullet! Look how big! Mullet jackpot! Oh. Mullet oh, jackpot! Yeah. Look at that one. That was huge. That was a two pounder. That was about as one. that one's about as long as me. Yeah. Calling that one Reuben. Yeah. That was awesome. You. Yeah. It stinks. Stink. Yeah, the deck That's is slimy. Slimy boat now. The deck is officially slimy. Uh, I can't. Everybody, welcome back. Reuben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today. Uh, first of all, thanks for coming back, Texas All Water Fishing. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, then click that subscribe button, and don't forget, click that like button. You know those features on your phone: like, subscribe, commenting, sharing, bell notification. All of that really helps the channel out a lot, and it helps this video get out a lot. It comes up suggested, you know, all the algorithms and stuff like that for. Uh, for for Facebook, for YouTube, it really helps the channel out a lot. So if you haven't by now, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't by now, like the video. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you a few minutes. I'll wait. Oh, that's a bracelet, not a watch. I'll give you a few minutes. I'll wait for you and let you go ahead and click on those buttons. All right, now that we got that taken care of, thanks again, guys, for coming back. Today, I'm going to be talking about a cast net. Now, how do you throw a cast net? What are the benefits of using a cast net? Why do you use a cast net? And even if you're a, a lure angler, if you like fishing with lures, it's still important for you to know how to throw a cast net because a cast net can really help you out a lot. It can really get you... That was the pug making the pug noise. Thank you, pug. Um, but it can really help you out a lot. It can get you out of mind. It can save you money. You know, right now, the <laughs> everything is up. Everything, the cost of living is up. Groceries, gas, all of that is an expense. And there's a lot of bait on the water and in the water and all around you. And that's dollar bills. That's money swimming around you. So even if you're, even if you're not, even if you do not normally fish with live bait, well, you might want to throw a cast net. You might want to give some, get some live bait because, again, with all that bait in the water it can make it really challenging uh a lot to hook up a lot of the times um recently one of my videos i was surrounded by reds I had reds all around me and i am convinced that if i would have had some live mullet if i would have taken my cast net with me and thrown my cast net with me that day i would have been able to hook up to those reds that were around me and um you know and that's the reports i'm getting back a lot people saying you know they 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 can't hook up uh, during this time of year because there's so much bait in the water and other guys say well you know what I went I tossed a cast net I got some live mullet I went back to the spots where I saw those reds and then we caught our two-man limit happened to my friend Billy Ray of Saltwater so that happened to him recently there is mullet you have shad I know shad really don't stay alive very long you have but shad is an extremely good bait to use you have pinfish you have shrimp, you know, and we always talk about matching the hatch. Well, what better way to match the hatch but take the bait that the fish are actually feeding on and put it on into your hook and send it out. Now, whether you're fishing on bottom with the Carolina rig or you're fishing with the cork or even freelining some of these baits or whether you're fishing from a boat, a kayak, wade fishing, surf rods, I mean, there is a ton. And even like the big, big, big horse mullet there you can make chum with them you can do all kind of stuff with that bait uh there is it's unlimited what you can do with that bait and how you can fish and what fish you can target by using a cast net but i've, I've used a cast net for a lot of years um i used to always keep one with me no matter what kind of fishing i was doing and i reached out to a friend of mine because believe it or not captain cody used to sell bait he used to go out and take his cast net and gather bait and sell it to the bait shops so i know that he's very experienced in teaching people but also teaching people how to throw a cast net so recently i was out fishing with my son and i asked captain cody if he could show me how to throw a cast net all right cody what are you throwing throwing a cast net yeah how, how many foot is it 
It's called a Get Her Done Net, and it's custom made. Custom made. I, I sewed it at my house. Yeah, it took me about, you know, one hour. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I'm a seamstress. I went to, uh, I did home ec for like seven years. You so. make your own shirts too. I do, I I do sew my own shirts. Yeah, 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 I do all of it. People bring their shirts to me because I, I sew, sew, sew all the way to Mexico. <laughs> you got them? Get them, double up. Y'all got the same fish. Nope. No, I had them. But they're all right there, Cody. They're everywhere. Oh, look. Oh, yes. All right. So, dang, put the, dang, that's put the on, line, rope on your left hand. You put it in your palm like this, about waist high. Palm out. Grab a weight. Just, just bring it to your fingertips. First, though, probably not going to be any good. So, got to warm up. Yeah. So then you just grab that weight like that. Mm -hmm. Got a little hang right there. A little hang nail. Always check your net. Make sure there's no hangs. Uh, open gotta, it up. You gotta wait for the shad. Can you just get over to the right a little bit, though? Okay. Come back up. We'll try to try to hammer them a little bit more to the right. There they are. They're they kind of close to the dock. Didn't it sink fast enough, huh? Yeah, it should have, it should have one. <laughs> there you go. See, that's what's swimming around. Yeah. But hundreds of them down there. That's good offshore bait. Yeah. They're good offshore and inshore. Yeah. I'll put one of those on, I bet I'll get get a red. Yeah. No, you need to put that on immediately. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one? Oh, dang. There you go. There's, there's a lot more. Give mm -hmm. me some smullets. Well, I'm gonna... you got some bait. Hey, go get that bait bucket for me, bud. Yes, sir. They are. Dang, they're quick. Yeah. Any? Oh, yeah. Or, uh, you, don't get you get one. They have to be, when it's gone like this, they have to be on top on of their top, mouth. On top, just the with their mouth. Yeah. Did you see him? Got some in it. Out, huh? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Dang, that's a hoss. Now, what are some of the benefits of using a cast net? Now, we talked about that. You, you save money. You it, it can really get you on those fish. You can hook up on those fish. You match the hatch. And honestly, in, in my mind, there is like catching fish with the lure. The same thing can go with catching your own bait and then using your own bait. Instead of buying it at a bait shop, using your own bait to catch a fish, there's there's a, a a certain level of it's more satisfact more satisfactory for me to catch my bait and then use it rather than go to the bait shop and then use it. I don't know what it is, but but it's true. Um, I get a little more out of it, so it brings the excitement level out just a little bit more. All right, so you might be wondering what is the best size of cast net. To purchase because maybe you looked online before maybe you went into academy before and you, you looked and you just couldn't make up your mind you didn't know what cast net is good what cast net is bad um, I really don't have a preference when it comes to brand um, you have to be careful when you are throwing the cast net around some structure around oysters that's that's really when you're gonna lose your cast net and really tear up the holes or make the tear holes into your cast net the one thing that I would say when it comes to using a cast net and you're learning for the first time how to use a cast net is buy yourself a smaller size cast net. Buy yourself a three to four foot maybe. You can go a little bigger than that. Make sure you know the state regulations. Typically, wherever you're at, the local stores aren't going to be selling you illegal cast nets. But make sure you know the state state regulations when you know what type of fish you can keep for, for just reference you can't keep any real predator fish with them you can't keep you know specks or reds or sheephead or drum you know you can only harvest bait fish with the cast net so make sure you know the state regulations check out um texas park and wildlife website that's a great tool to use 
Uh, and like I said, I would go with a smaller cast net just because it's easier to throw, especially when you're first starting out and learning to, to throw a cast net. I always like keeping a small one with me. Uh, it, it's easy to stow on my kayak. It's easy to keep in the back of my truck rather than something bigger and, and heavier. So smaller cast net and also mono. Get the mono cast net. Do not get the nylon. Uh, I will tell you why. You know, a lot of times I'm throwing the cast net in these real dirty waters, these marshy waters, and that nylon will really suck up uh, a lot of that flavor in the water, a lot of that smell, and it, it can really stink up the back of your truck or stink up your garage. Uh, even after you rinse it, they, they, whatever it is, it, it's, it sucks that odor up. And it just makes it, in my mind, it just makes it easier to throw to the mono, the clear mono cast net versus the nylon. But hey, I hope this helps you. And if you are thinking about using a cast net or throwing a cast net, just keep in mind, you know, you don't want to go on private property. You want to make sure you know the state regulations and you want to just make sure you, you keep it safe. Try to keep the cast net out of oysters and other kind of structure because you would, I hate if you spend the money on a cast net and then you lose it. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. So if you're interested in helping your learning curve or maybe you want to get some put-ins or maybe behind the scenes footage all that stuff yeah, we have it out there on patreon or if you're interested in meetups you know we recently had a meetup out there at texas city dyke and we had a really good time hanging out and fishing together so if that's something that interests you then in the description section there is a link and that is that will lead you to our patreon page i also have links for cast nets that i recommend and other suggested videos if you are interested if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel a like comment and share as well until next time i hope you catch me